Hi, I'm Claire Long with a Serial Extension Specialist for the province of Alberta. I'm here today to talk about calculating your seeding rate. It's important to calculate your seeding rate because today we're trying to push those, those plants to the maximum. We want to reduce the number of tillers and we want to make it as accurate as possible. So if you use a bushel weight, you can be off by 30%. So 30% seeding rate is not acceptable today. So you have to be as accurate as possible and that involves using the calculator. The components of calculating a seeding rate are very simple. You usually get them both from the, where you buy your seed. And that's your percent germ and your thousand kernel weight. And so take those two numbers home and you, what you need is to use a calculator. On the government website, you'll see that you need several things. One, you need to know the variety, you need to know the thousand kernel weight, you need to know the germ, and you need to know the, the plant density. In the modern world, in today's world, we want to push density. Germination is important to know. It's important to know if you have, if you have your own seed kept back too. So therefore, if you get it done, get it done in the spring as opposed to the fall, because what can happen over the season. The other thing you need to enter into this calculation is, is plant mortality. Now, plant mortality is very difficult to guess. You're guessing before you plant the seed whether it's going to be a wet year or dry year, so therefore it's really, really hard to say. So 5% is a very safe number to use. And the, th and the other thing you need is row spacing. Row spacing is very important, so you need to put that in there. Ten, 10 is what I use, which is most planters today. There are two factors in this calculation you don't necessarily need to answer. One is the acres of, of, uh, that you're going to plant, and two is the price of the seed. So once you put in all your numbers, go ahead and get calculate. It'll generate whatever amount of seed you need per 100 foot row of 10 inch spacing. Plant densities is important to have from one end of the field to the other is all the same. You don't want to have thin areas because thin areas are where it's going to be higher weed population. Weed population is going to cost you money in the long run. You don't want to have high density because if it's a wet year, you're going to attract a lot of diseases. And diseases love to have a dense canopy. The other thing too about density, if you want maturity, you want maturity to ripen all across the field at the same time. You don't want an area th a thick population of, of tillers and you don't, don't want a thin area top population of tillers. If you have a plant density stand that's set for the right amount, you're going to have no problem. And if you overestimate, you're going to have lots of seed left over in the end. You have a thin stand out in the field. If you need more resources, you can check it out at the government website. Also, it's available just about any other website there is out there that sells seed. I hope what I've provided for you today will be a benefit to you. It certainly will be for the bottom line. This is Claire Longwell, a serial extension specialist for the province of Alberta. I hope you have a great season coming up.